Hey guys, so today we're going to work in our cores to increase our stability. My goal is to slightly push you out of your comfort zone here, so we're going to do some headstand work. Um, our holds are a bit longer, and the goal is to progressively do that so your now comfort zone becomes your warm up eventually. So we're going to start off by warming up our wrists and then making them stronger. It'll be nice and quick, and then we're going to make our way into strength drills, core. We're going to try and really fire up that core and then utilize that in headstand and wall holds. Let's get to it. So just to start off as always, we're gonna warm up our wrists. Today is a bit of an active start. We're gonna bring our weight on our knuckles and then slowly bring our weight into our palms for 10, nine, a little bit farther with the shoulders, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let's go back and forth for five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna go side to side. So fingers pointing out and just back and forth for five, four, Three. I hope that all these wrists exercises to start feeling like second nature. One. Fingers towards us. Just back and forth, really getting into our fingers with this variation for five, four, three, two, one. Palms in, fingers towards each other. We're just going to lift our knees off for five, four, Three, two, one, knees down, fingers towards us, biceps forward, and then five, four, three, two, one. We're gonna release that, just kind of palm the ground. Awesome. From here, we're gonna do a few shoulder pumps. Uh, we're gonna do 20 reps at three different angles, two rounds, just to warm up our shoulders. We're gonna get in our core out. There's some nice and long arms straight above our heads, really looking to keep that hollow body in our chest and then just back and forth. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. Arms wide. Enjoy the nice open chest for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nice and low. Tiny, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Repeating that, so back overhead for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, four, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Arms even with your shoulders. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, 
three, two, one, last angle, last 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, let's get right into the core exercises. So we are going to start off with working our transverse abdominal muscles. So to do that, we're going to do 10 knees to chest. And then from there, we're going to go 10 reverse, so almost like a crow push. And then we're going to make our way into an L sit, keeping our heels down. We don't really need a full L sit float unless you can go for it. We're going to do 10 of those. So we're just going to push off. I'm going to do it blocks just to show and, and kind of get more float because the whole point is I want to really project, uh, protract and engage my core. So let's get to it. 10, 10, 10, two rounds. Let's feel that core. So knees to our chest. We can bring our arms into that crow. Touch your toes to the ground, knees to your triceps. That's for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Trying to keep our tailbone off the ground. We're going to go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Sitting up. Once again, I'm using the blocks. Keep them even with your hips. We're really looking to point out through everything nice and strong, as high as you can for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. When you come up, try to lift your core. So you're trying to bring your pelvis, 8, 4, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Really exaggerating that cat spine will really give you much more out of this exercise. Let's go for a second round. No break in between. Hands down, or actually hands up. Knees to your elbows or triceps. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Same concept. Tailbone up. Nice and tall. Protract for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Back to our modified L sits. Hands beside your hips. Really looking. To go up, maybe bring the foot up to this time. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to hold, bring your chest forward for 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Ah. If you didn't feel that in your core, either you didn't tuck enough or push enough, or you have some kind of freakish core that I respect. <laughs> that being said, next drill. So we're going into a headstand. We're gonna do one round of 10 second hold on the left side. We're gonna with a tuck, so one leg in. Um, and then we're just gonna hold that for 10 seconds. Then we're gonna make our way to the wall. Go knee to the sky, knee towards the wall. Try to do that 10 times. If you come out of it, or if you're able to save it with the wall, we're aiming to finish 10 reps. If you need to stop here and do one each time, completely fine. Just aim for 10. Big breath in. 
We're really looking to work on controlling our pelvis bowl, using our core to really stabilize ourselves and really being able to just hold that shape, that inversion, that, sta that stacking of hips over, in this case, your head, shoulders, and everything else. So we're gonna start off with our hold. If you need the wall to go up into it, awesome. If not, and you're able to step on the block to get there, perfect. We're just gonna go into headstand. Big breaths while you're there. We're just gonna count to 10. So let's get for it. Literally, get, let's get to it. So same shape as always. Touch your opposite elbow, hands together. Pinky in, top of the head, on the ground between your hands, and protract as if you wanted to do a pincha or a forearm stand. Big breath. Now we're doing this for 10 seconds. Head down, make your way. And just staying in this tuck, really tight. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, push, push, push through your arms. Four, three, two, one. Awesome, so that was in our left crease. Just remember that, because we'll do the opposite side after. Now we're making our way to the wall, just in case we need it. And while we're there, I'm gonna do the first round on the wall, second one, I'll do it out in space. If you can join me in that sequence, cool. If not, stay with the wall both times. Well, this is what we're doing, so let's get to it. Hands to the opposite elbow, pinky in. We're gonna bring our knees even with our hips or lower. We're trying to get lower if possible. Then knees up to the ceiling. So this is where we're pushing our stability and balance, using our core and taking our time. 10 reps is the important part here. Big breath in. Let's go. So just in with your tight tuck, and then knees up. Knees back down, as tight as you can. If you need to touch here, that's okay. If not, stay there, back up for two. Back down. We're going up for three. Back down. Going up for four. Back down. Really engage that core. Five. If you see me teeter, that's okay. I'm learning to catch myself. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. If that was a lot, a lot, that's okay. For today, maybe just do one round of 10. We're gonna go for a second hold round and then another round of 10. But if that's just way too much, if you feel like, wow, I've just learned how to hand, headstand, I'm just learning to put these holds in longer and longer, maybe see if you can add that extra 10 at some other point in the day. But if not, the goal here is just to expose and put more time in on our hands or inverted. Just before a second round, let's just stretch a little bit. Oops. So we're gonna grab the opposite, oh sorry, inside, grab the opposite elbow and pull yourself away, head down. Really only aiming to ex uh, expand your scapulars. So grab that elbow, bring your head down and then pull apart your shoulder blades. The opposite side. Hello, hello. Hey, okay, we're so good. I thought I accidentally pulled out my volume there. Or my mic. We'll do the opposite side for three breaths. Two more. Oh, one last one. Awesome. So we're gonna do a hold. The block will be in my right hip this time. If you just feel like putting it in the middle and you're just doing a tuck anyways, that's okay. Do what you can, do what feels best. We're essentially doing the same thing. We're really squeezing that block in as much as you can. So I held that way. I don't know that it'll make any difference, but I'm gonna hold in this shape or this side. And then I'm gonna do my 10 reps after just here in freestanding space. 
uh, use the wall if you came out of it several times just to kind of stop yourself from collapsing out or anything. Um, I want you to keep building confidence. It's not about scaring yourself or anything of that sort. So let's go for a 10 second hold. So elbows, fingers together, pinky in. So we're going for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Big breaths. We'll interlace our fingers behind our chest if we want. Fingers, knuckles down towards the ground. Okay, so let's do our tucks. Knees up, knees to chest, times 10. Like I said, I'm gonna do it in free space. If you feel like using the wall again, go for it. We are gonna be really pushing our headstand stability over the next few days, just because that translates onto our hands. Learning to control our torso and just our upper body while it's pushing really translate to doing the exact same action while you're on your hands. Um, you're just learning it in a safer and more calm place where you could have more control. So let's go for 10 reps. So let's enter, big breath in. Another breath to go up. We're in our tuck, knees up, knees back down. It's one, knees up. We're gonna go a little bit faster this time around. Knees back down, two, knees up, knees back down, three, knees up, knees back down, four, knees up, knees back down, five, knees up, knees back down, six, knees up, knees back down, seven, three more, knees up, knees back down, eight, two more, knees up, Knees back down, nine, one last one. Knees up, knees back down. Awesome guys. So those are not easy. I'm never gonna pretend any of this stuff is, especially when you are not accustomed to it, when you're new to it, when you're learning it for the first time. All of this is a lot to learn. Where you are in space, what am I doing with my body? Why do they want to throw themselves everywhere? And if you're falling out and learning to be okay with that and continue on, that's the most strength you're going to gain. I've done that. I've been through it one step at a time, guys. It's okay. So we're just going to stretch our chest a little bit and then go into our holds. First one will be 20 seconds, then two of 15. So I know we're getting longer in our holds. That's 50 seconds. We're making our way to that minute and then we're going to go beyond that, obviously. Um, the longer your holds are, the better you are just at being comfortable upside down. And then very shortly, hint, hint, maybe tomorrow, we're going to try to go knees to toes on the wall. Maybe if you can't reach it, like a <laughs> thumb to finger away from it, six inch sub, whatever. Um, so let's get to it, but we're going to stretch and then do our two holds. So I very much enjoy this stretch where I'm bringing my arm in the cactus shape. I'm using the other arm to push myself towards the wall, but also rotate. I'm trying to bring my chest forward for three breaths. One, two, three, do the opposite side for one. Two, three. Okay, so let's go for our first hold. Yes, this is a longer one than usual. It is a full 20 seconds. We are going to get through it. And if we are not comfortable with it yet, maybe we do two tens and then the 15s. 
whatever your body allows you to do today, that's where you're at. Be happy with that. You're putting time in instead of being on the couch or watching another episode of Netflix. I don't know. But you are going after it, and that's what matters. So let's go for it. Feet are on the wall. First breath. I know I butcher this all the time, but fingers forward, or I repeat this a lot. Fingers forward, weight into your knuckle, middle finger, more so towards your thumb between this. Big breath, biceps forward, protract, lift the, uh, raise the roof. Let's go for it. So big breath. Second one, let's go. We are going for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That was one. We got two more to do. We're doing great. So big breath. That was your first 20 seconds. Be proud of that. Be proud of the push you're giving, the effort, the exercises you're putting through and the repetition of like muscle memory that you're developing as well so we're going to just open up our chest overhead this time so arms to the wall keep that hollow body shape we're just going to push for about five breaths four three two one. These exercises to open up are mostly things that I've struggled with, so I'm really making sure to add them in so that hopefully the things you avoid. I'm very tight and struggle to really push overhead, um, and that makes it harder to handstand. Like I've said in many videos now, the less mobility you have, the more your body, your body is fighting against you. So let's work on the opposite style. Let's stay mobile so that it's our friend it makes it easier to enter everything. So let's go for our next 15 seconds. Big breath in. Second breath, we're going up. So this is 15 seconds. We're going for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Big breath in. Okay, so we're gonna do in between another little protraction, Jill. I'm getting grateful and faithful and believe in you guys that I think that you're able to add these little extras in between that might be the deferring factor to why you're not getting there. So struggling to push through our knuckles with everything stacking and like kind of allowing our legs to try and be what floats us off the wall is often a barrier. So the drill we did a long time ago will help with that. So you're looking to pull through your belly button away, sorry, I didn't mean to burst you. Belly button is what's guiding us away from the wall. So if you're not finding that float ever, Think belly button, really tight hollow body, and push through our palms, and you will float away. So we'll do three each side of our foot flat on the ground, and then lift for one, two, three. Let's do three of those. If you can keep it over your, under your shoulders, even better. So let's lift that foot for three, two, one, down, two more. Lift, three, two, one. The last one, we're pulling through our spine to lift that leg up. Oh. <laughs> three, two, one. It's okay to slip. It doesn't mean you're a lesser. Um, it's all part of it. We're gonna go for the opposite side. So foot flat. Really learn to push through our hands into the ground. The lift through our stomachs for three, two, one. Two more, foot flat, lift for three, two, one. 
Last one. Push, push, push. Three, two, one. So really learning to protract, really learn to pull, and you're just gonna float off. You won't even realize it's happening. This is much more <laughs> difficult than stacking because here you're fighting your weight. It's trying to pull you down while you're trying to push it away. So that being said, let's go for a few deep breaths. Every time we do something intense, let's give our body just a little bit of recovery, hopefully less every time to get back into it. So I can feel my heart rate's high. If you feel like it is, because this is a lot, you can pause it at times, or just kind of take a few breaths in. So two more. And one last one. Let's get for our, let's go for our last hold. Thank you so much for tagging in today, guys. So two breaths, same concept, pointing fingers forward, biceps forward, protracting, raising that roof and hollow body above us. If we can think of our belly button going away from the wall, who knows, it might float. So 15 seconds, getting a bit closer if we can. So big breath in. Big breath on. So we're going for 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Awesome. Good job, guys. Okay, so last stretch of our shoulders. Big breath in. Fingers together, head through, fingers pointing back. Two more. One last one. Oh yeah, so that was great. That felt good. I felt a lot of protraction through these drills, a lot of core engagement and simply finding balance from stability drills with head stain to holding on the wall, hopefully making that millimeter float off or still just getting appropriate set for knowing where we are. So while you're there, if it's something you can do next time, try and be conscious, see or feel how much the one leg is on top of you. Feel the one leg touching the wall. Maybe at some point today or some other time, if you have the chance, film yourself doing a hold. Have the camera close so that it's angled to you. You can see what your shape looks like. If it's too much of a banana back, try to come a little bit closer and see if you can kind of think or be conscious. And the first step is knowing. So then holding that cat-shaped spine, pushing your toes towards the wall a little bit more maybe and then extending through our pelvis, squeezing our, our bum cheeks. Um, I know I haven't brought that in much yet, but it's a good thing that helps with avoiding banana back. So that being said, let's, let's have three breaths together, close this off. Super grateful for having you guys practicing with me. So let's go for it. Eyes closed, big breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Two more. One last breath. Thanks for joining me. If you like this, subscribe, share, all that good stuff.